The AMD K62 was released in May 1998 for the Super Socket 7 platform. Not only did it support Intel's MMX instructions, but it also shipped with a brand new 3D Now extension as part of its 9.3 million transistors. It was manufactured using the 250 nm process, ran at 2.2 volts, with a clock speed ranging from 266 to 550 MHz. The K62 was designed to compete with a much more expensive Pentium 2. In February 1999, AMD released the K63, and in June of the same year, the first Athlon CPUs. But that does not mean that AMD was done with a Socket 7 platform. The year is 2000. The Y2K bugs are finally ironed out, and Microsoft hasn't released its Mistake Edition yet. In April, AMD released two new editions of the K63 family, the mobile versions, which could be identified by the plus in the model name. With power savings in mind, these mobile CPUs were manufactured using the new 180nm process, which was also used for the classic Athlon at that time. And although those CPUs were designed for mobile devices like laptops, some motherboard companies provided updated BIOS versions to offer support for the AMD K62 Plus and the K63 Plus. The naming convention would suggest that the AMD K62 Plus is a descendant of the K62 family. But that is incorrect. The K62 Plus and the K63 Plus are almost identical. The only difference is that the former has 128KB of L2 cache, while the latter has the full possible 256KB. So why would I delete the name the K62 Plus? As it turns out, you could turn this CPU into a K63 Plus by moving one resistor on the substrate. Of course there is a risk that I may damage the processor during this procedure, and there is no guarantee that it will work but that will be the topic of the next video. For the next couple of minutes you will see me delitting the CPU, clean the heat spreader and the substrate and see if it survived part 1 of my attempt to turn it into a K63 Plus CPU. Enjoy the rest of the video and I will see you in part 2.